Okay, now in this part of the video, we're going to cover the topic of advanced conditionals and how they can be used within your login welcome page to display uh, modification upgrade buttons and cancellation buttons and just to work out some logic within the page itself. Uh, before we get into this subsection here, I want to flip over to this other tab I have open. And just to show you, before we started this section of the video, we went back in and uh, we consolidated the two different login welcome pages we had into just one login welcome page again. So we changed the, the slug for the page and got rid of the, the dash zero and dash one. And now we just have one login welcome page and we've included both the upgrade button and the cancellation button in this one page. And so with advanced conditionals, this is going to be a different approach because in this, in this example, we're going to actually work out the logic within code right here in this page so that we can put everything into this one, this one login welcome page. Okay, so let's flip back over and open this advanced conditional section. And we can see that here we're demonstrating the use of two different functions that are already built into WordPress. The first one is is user logged in. And then the second is current user can. And in this example here, we see that we have a PHP tag. And it's using this is user logged in function. So this is saying if the user is logged in, we would show content here, which is represented by this line. Otherwise, we would show this content. So this is saying if the user is logged in, we show this else we show this. So the concept of an advanced conditional is that you're testing whether something is true or not. And if it is, you show one thing, and if it's not, you show something else. So you could just take this, this uh, snippet in its entirety and copy and paste it into a post or any, any post for that matter, or any page, and then adjust it to uh, apply it to whatever it is that you're trying to work out within your poster page based on some condition. Now, in order to do this, in order to take a PHP code snippet like this example and put it into a post or a page, I'm going to flip over to this other tab I have open. You'll need this plugin installed. It's called Exec PHP. You can get this plugin at WordPress.org. You just go up to the Extend tab and click on Plugins. And run a search for Exec PHP and you'll pull up this page where you can download the plugin. And you need this because this is what allows you to execute PHP code in post pages and even inside text widgets if you like. Okay, and uh, as a developer, almost any developer that's running WordPress will have this plugin installed or, or another plugin that's similar uh, because there's all sorts of things that you can do once you have the ability to apply PHP code within a post or a page. Uh, for example, there's more uses other than just login welcome page. Uh, you could use this within any poster page to work out, for example, you might have content at the top of a post that would be visible to everyone. But then you might have another section at the bottom that would contain something that you would consider for premium access only that you would block off with a conditional that would test whether that current user has the proper access level to see that other section. And if they didn't, you could have a link that would take them to the sign up in order to gain that access. So there's all sorts of ways you could use PHP code with these conditionals in, inside your posts and pages. Okay, so we're going to move back over here to the advanced conditionals subsection. And you, you can get here, by the way, by just going to the S2 member menu and going down to API scripting and then opening up this advanced conditional subsection. Now I'm going to need more than this. I need to work out what the actual level is, not whether they're just logged in or not. So let's move down to the next example. Here we can see that this is the same function if, if they're logged in. But then there's this other function that's called current user can. And this is testing to see whether this the current user has access to S2 member level 1. So that's great. That's exactly what I need. I'm going to need to test whether they have access to level 1 or to level 0. And so this is exactly what I would need. So. What's interesting to point out here is that there is an additional thing that you should be aware of uh, in terms of how access actually works because if you notice this little prefix here where it says access, that's important. Uh, we need to understand how 
incremental access actually works within WordPress. And, and to do that, I'm going to move down here to this lower uh, detailed explanation about membership levels. You can see that a member with level 4 access will be able to access level 0, 1, 2, and 3 in addition to level 4. So in other words, it's incremental. If I'm at level 4, then I will automatically have access to everything beneath me. But if I'm at level 2, I won't. I won't be able to have access to 3 or 4, but I still will be able to have access to everything beneath me. So if I'm at level 2, I'll still have access to 1 and 0. If I'm at level 3, I would have access to 2, 1, and 0. If I'm at level 0, then that's all I have access to. There's nothing beneath me. That's it. And then the WordPress subscriber role, which is mentioned here, is that level zero role. Okay, so if the S2 member plugin actually only adds four new roles into WordPress. It adds in the roles for level one, two, three, and four, the S2 member levels. And then it just associates the already existing subscriber role that comes by default with WordPress. It associates the subscriber role with level zero access in terms of membership. With an administrator, an editor, author, or contributor, Word, uh, S2 member does not change anything about how these roles work within WordPress except to say that we're going to associate these types of roles with the highest level of membership access because in other words S2 member is assuming that if you are a contributor, an editor, an author, anyone who has administrative access or the ability to edit posts, that we would assume then that, that the, anyone that would have one of these roles would have the highest access to your member, your actual membership offering on the site. Okay, so now understanding how membership access works incrementally, we can see that when we say current user can access S2 member level one, that that doesn't necessarily mean that they are at level one. It just means that they can access level one. And that's important to understand. Now, if I took out this little access portion, I only left in S2 member level one, then that would give me the test on a specific level. So that would just say current user can S2 member level 1 and that would be a test specifically to see if they are at level 1 not just if they can access level 1. So that's how you would do that. Okay so let's go straight to editing this page with some advanced conditionals. In this case we have this little upgrade section here with our upgrade shortcode and obviously I would not want to show this to someone that's already at level one membership because there would be no reason for them to upgrade to level one they're already at level one so in this case I need a conditional to determine whether a member is specifically at level zero so I'm going to start out here by wrapping this little section now I don't need the is user logged in function here because we're on the login welcome page. So there's no way they would be on this page unless they were already logged in. So I don't really need that here. I could use it, but I don't really need it. So I'm going to skip that part and just put if current user can S2 member level zero. So if they are specifically at S2 member level zero, I'm going to make an upgrade button available for them on the login welcome page so that they can upgrade to level one. So that's how you do that. Now remember, this is this specifically at level zero. It's not just it's not asking whether they can access level zero. It's asking if the current user is specifically at level zero. We will offer them the ability to upgrade. Now in this next section here on the cancellation button, now obviously if they were at level zero, we wouldn't want to provide the cancellation button because they're they're a free subscriber at level zero. So there's there's nothing that they're paying for. There's nothing to cancel. But if they were at level one, then we would want to offer this, or we could offer a cancellation button. So in this case, the conditional will be just a bit different. We will place the access S2 member level one conditional here. And you probably noticed that I used access in this case did I have to no I could have just said if current user can if they're specifically at level one because in this in this demonstration we're only utilizing those two levels so I could have done it this way but I did it this way just to point something out to you 
uh, these these specific capability checks are great because they leave room for you to grow the site. For example, if I did everything at a specific level, uh, it might make it more difficult for me to add an additional level later where I have to work out some additional logic. But just testing for whether they have the capability to access level one is great. So in this example, if I had, just to show you why, if I had current user can access level one, well, what if later I decided to add a level two? Uh, I came out with some new form of content and I decided I'm going to add an additional level and charge a higher rate for something new that I've added. Well, then this cancellation button wouldn't show for anybody that would that would upgrade to level two because this this conditional is only looking for level one specifically. But if I leave this in here at access level one, then that means anyone that has level one or higher essentially. So in other words, if they're at level two, they will be able to access level one. So this would still show. So that's kind of something to think about when you're writing your conditional statements is, is will this work and how many different scenarios will this conditional work as I intend it to work? And you can decide there. Now, you don't have to be, you know, real particular about it because it's not, it's not a huge deal to go in and, and modify these when you add a new level. I just wanted to point out that, you know, you can use a little bit of strategy here when you decide how you're going to set this up. Okay, so I'm going to update this page. Okay, now before I go to view this page, let's just take a moment here to consider what I should actually see as a site administrator that I'm currently logged in as. What should I actually see when I get to this page? And let's just do another quick review. In this, in this conditional, we're saying if the current user can, if they are specifically at level zero, then we would show the upgrade button. Well, we know that as an administrator, I have level four access, so I should not see an upgrade button because I'm not an S2 member at level zero. I'm an administrator, and I have the ability to, to view levels one through four at the highest, even. So I shouldn't see this, this upgrade modification button. So it, should I see the cancellation button, though? Because if is this is saying if current user can access S2 member level one. Well, if I'm at level four, then obviously I can access level one, so the cancellation button would be shown to me, even as an administrator has logged in. So let's just test that to make sure that's the case. Okay, and it is. You can see here that this is the information section at the top, which is just kind of a placeholder in this demonstration. And then there's the cancellation button. And then the modification button is not visible. And that's exactly the way we intended it to be. So that's how you apply advanced conditionals. Now we're going to do another video that goes into a lot more depth on advanced conditionals. So if you really like this concept, uh, take a look at s2member.com because we're going to uh, do some additional tutorials and show you how to nest advanced conditionals uh, and even pull out some additional information to display uh, the member's first name and, and, and other details to, that you can work out within code right inside a poster page inside WordPress. Okay, in the next part of this video, I think it's important to cover what actually happens at PayPal whenever you create a modification button and a customer goes through the modification process. Okay, so in the next part of this video, we're going to pick back up on this section and talk more about what actually goes on at PayPal when a customer that's, that already has a paid subscription logs in and, and just kind of walk you through that. Okay, so in this section of the video, we're going to discuss what actually happens when a customer that's logged in as a free subscriber would see the upgrade button and click on it, what is the process that they go through and, and what does S2 member do after this upgrade process?